welcome back to my channel Eva here I have for you guys today uh, on removal of my makeup I'm gonna show you the products that I have been using and have been absolutely loving to take off my eye makeup and face makeup so I wanted to do that really quickly because it's about seven o'clock now and I'm gonna take off my my makeup that I did today and the first thing that I have to do is pull my hair back so I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back right for you guys so the first thing I have to do or I'm gonna do is take off my false eyelashes and I just um I do this with the viewfinder I just grab the very end and I just pull them right off and then I put them right away inside the plastic case that they come in let me do the other one sometimes when I take them off I grab my real lashes and it hurts okay so the next thing I want to do which is a product that I want to talk to you guys about is my Sonia Kashik I make a movie you guys can see like I'm down to the last bit and this has actually lasted me a really long time I've had this for several months now and it's been my absolute favorite I think I've had this since November so that's a long time that's like five months and I just ordered a new one because um, I don't want to be out without this this is why I wanted to do this video for you guys so I'm sorry I'm gonna be rambling a little bit so anyways I have had my makeup on now since 10 o'clock and 7 so it's been a couple of hours so the first thing I want to do is get one of these um, cotton rounds and just really saturate it and I want to show you um, the way that I feel that is the best way to take off your eye makeup because I've seen a couple of girls ask other beauty gurus not that I'm a beauty guru um, how to take off your mascara your eye makeup without like really tugging and pulling off your um, eyelash, your natural eyelashes so the first thing that I do is I take the very saturated cotton and I just literally place it on my eye and I just pat it and then I'm just like holding down my natural lashes and then I just kind of like sweep it down gently and see it takes off quite a bit now I have a very um, heavy amount of makeup today like I have a lot of different colors so this is not gonna just take everything off I just want to show you just I literally just hold it down for a little bit and then I just wiggle it a little and that helps and then I go at that now then what I do is I flip it on the other side because the other side saturated too and then to do the underneath part I just go in towards my nose I look up really I'm looking up it's gonna look weird and then I just go like under the eye and I always go in now the first cotton round is not gonna take off all my eye makeup even when I just do mascara I use like at least two because I don't stop wiping until I get all the mascara off so you're just going gently in not a lot of pressure so I took off quite a bit and as you can see, I still have um, a little bit right here and a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is take another cotton round and saturate that one and do the same thing. Now, the trick for me to take off my mascara successfully without taking off my um, eyelashes is to just take the cotton round and literally just place it on my eyelashes, close my eye, and push on it. Just press it, hold it like that, and wiggle. That's all you have to do, just wiggle it. And then once you've done that, like sweep it down and it comes off. And the other thing that I do is I just literally, I look up and then I just brush up like if I'm putting mascara and I wipe push in. So I look up, put the cotton pad underneath your eyelashes, like if you're gonna put mascara and just comb up and rub. So in towards your nose, place the cotton pad and just rub up and I know it looks weird but it's literally like if you're applying your mascara on so literally look up take the cotton pad put it underneath your eyelashes and wiggle gently very softly you don't have to do this very hard even having a very smoky eye this works and then you go back to the corner start from the corner again and just wiggle up wiggle up wiggle up wiggle up so I just go like in a circular motion very gently not doing this hard at all and I keep doing that until my cotton pack comes out clean so I'm gonna use this other mirror here to just make sure I took everything off because it looks like everything is off and I have a little bit in the corner there this residual 
because if you notice when you have like eyeliner in your waterline, it's a little bit harder to take off your makeup. So I always look at the cotton pad. If the cotton pad is clean, then I know that I took everything off. So you see the difference. Like this is one, my eye without it, and this is all the makeup that I had on before. Okay, so I took off all my eye makeup, and I want to talk about this before I move on to the next step in my um, makeup removal process. Because the whole point of this video is to talk about this wonderful Sonia Kashuk eye makeup remover. Um, it is 4.75 fluid ounces, and retail value of this at my local Target store is $10.19. Is the price they've been selling it for. And this, I've had it since... November so November December January February March that's five months and I'm just running out of it now now I do not wear makeup every single day but this stuff is amazing it takes off the most water resistant makeup you could have literally on like black eyeliner um, you know, black eyeshadow black mascara black eyeliner and it takes everything off and what I love about it it does not leave like an oily feeling it does not sting your eyes um, it just very gentle and mild so for those of you who have very sensitive eyes i highly recommend this um eye makeup remover and at first i was like oh it's really expensive you know the price because um the l'oreal one is like depending where you get it it's anywhere from five to seven five to eight dollars actually and i do like that one the one in the green bottle it works really good but i really like this one even more because this one doesn't make my eyelashes come out at all. For some reason, the L'Oreal one, no matter how um, delicate I was with it, my eyelashes were like falling out for some reason. I don't know why. But this one, I don't have that issue. And it's just really, really good. It does not have a smell to it. Like I mentioned, it does not leave you an oily residue. I do not like having that oily residue. Because you know how I make everyone say that they are um, oil-free. Then when you use it, you, you feel like all that oily film on your... Um, Eyelids is what I'm trying to say. So I absolutely love this um, eye makeup remover. I highly recommend it for those of you who can pick it up at your local Target. Um, definitely do so. If it's on sale, buy it in bulk because I just ordered another one because I absolutely love it. And I will keep using this until something better comes along. So that's what I just wanted to let you know. So it's going to be a review of another product as well. So here is the next step in my makeup removal process so this is going to be a long video i'm sorry about that um so the next thing that i've been loving is this co cojan dough i got this in my glossy box and it's a cleansing water and i've been incorporating this into my uh, makeup remover uh, routine at night and the daytime too if i decide to take off my makeup early so i just take another one of those cotton rounds and i literally just saturate it with uh the water in doesn't have a scent to it or fragrance or anything like that it's really nice and I just take it and I literally put it all over my face first to take off all um, my makeup and it doesn't look like I have a lot of makeup on but when wait till you see the cotton round it's like you see all that and then I just flip it on the other side and I could just literally leave it and I'm done and my face is clean See, I just do it one time with that. And then the other thing that I do, depending on which makeup wipes I have, but I alternate between these, the Yes to Carrots, which I absolutely love. I mean, cucumbers. I always want to say carrots for some reason. Yes to Cucumbers or the Up and Up brand from Target in the blue packaging, which I've mentioned before. And then I just take one of these makeup wipes and then I finish up my face and my neck with it. And then I go into my um, bathroom and I just wash my face with, whatever cleanser um, that I have. Currently, I am using the Mary Kay one, the Time Wise um, one, or the Extra Creamy Cleanser, whichever I'm feeling that day. So I just go in with this. And remember, I always go in and down and up. So this is the way, proper way you should do your face. See how I still have a little bit there. So your forehead, you always wanna go up and down, up and down, and around. So then when you're going to do under your eye, always go in. Always try to go like, okay, what I'm trying to say, this video is going to be very long, sorry about that. Always come from here from your temple, find your cheekbone, and follow your cheekbone. And stay under your cheekbone socket, like right here where my bone is. I'm going to show you, I'm going to use my ring finger. And you go like this, in towards your nose. I'm not flipping you guys off, sorry. And then down, and then up. 
that's the best way to clean your face if you want to maintain it and not really wrinkle it up um that's what i was taught in school so you always go around and find your your temple follow your temple and your cheekbone and underneath and then down and then push up if that makes any sense and then your neck you always want to clean up always clean your neck a lot of women don't clean their neck it's very important go up especially the older you get you want to go up tons of bronzer down there so I do all this first and then I go in my bathroom and use my Clarisonic and then I just keep going so it's clean so I want to talk a little bit about the uh, this Cogendo cleansing water um, this I don't have a lot of information on it what it's supposed to do whatever but according to here it says it's created with the mineral rich Yumura hot springs in Izumo Japan and white bird sap that retains moisture in your skin infused with six essential herbs to protect and nurture skin rosemary leaf extract sage leaf extract lavender extract Arte Artemisia princeps leaf extract perilla osimoides I think they say it. leaf extract, ginger root extract. Quickly and jelly removes makeup, leaving nutrients to replenish and rejuvenate skin. Removes waterproof makeup and skin impurities. Rinse free, oil free, safe for contact lens users. Wears. And then the directions are just moderately saturate a cotton pad and leave on skin for a few seconds. Then jelly remove makeup. It's not necessary to wash product off after use. And I completely agree with this. So if you have sensitive skin or you've been looking for just a step or maybe you don't want to use makeup wipes you could definitely just use this and it takes off all of your makeup if I would have used two cotton um, rounds full this it would have been all taken off with this but I like to use the extra step of the makeup wipes because I want to make sure that I'm getting that extra cleansing especially if I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to go wash my face like with cleanser or whatever then I definitely incorporate the makeup wipes but let's say like if I don't have any makeup wipes I could just use this and it would take everything off so this is another product that I highly recommend for anyone to use on their skin I have very dry sensitive skin and I find that it does not dry my skin at all I have even just taken my makeup off with this at night with my eye makeup remover and like let's say it's really late and I just take it off I'll go to sleep without putting any moisturizer on and I will literally wake up the next day my skin will feel soft and hydrated and that's something that I don't I don't get at all because I have very very dry skin I've had dry skin forever and getting older is not helping so I highly recommend that product as well I don't know what the retail value of this product is because like I mentioned I got it in my glossy box so what I'm gonna do is try to find this a link where you could probably purchase this and put it down below and I will put a link for the Sonia Kashuk as well and for the yes to cucumbers I said it right this time um, makeup wise for you guys to try and if you're wondering what eyelashes I was wearing I was wearing my favorite lashes from Ardell they are called the 102 Demi's and these eyelashes I absolutely love 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 them these are my favorite ones to wear and um, most of the eyelashes I wear are from Ardell but these are the ones that I really like to I just go to so this is what they look like the ones I was wearing. Sorry, my phone moved. So, that is everything. I hope I was informative enough with you guys on this um, review, two-in-one review. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's my son getting ready to probably come in the room. So, I will talk to you guys later. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night.